is up you guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel i'm deja hello y'all probably looked at like the title and was like some is probably like what the hell are you talking about others is like oh my god i'm interested and then the other half is like jesus 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 you know <laughs> i have my wine here because um this sh that i experienced today that i'm going to tell you guys about like this wasn't even my planned video for today i was going to do a mukbang talk about something completely different i just had to come on here and just like talk to someone you guys this morning i literally experienced something and i have this video in my phone it's 17 minutes long and I just had to document what happened so I would not forget kind of without like writing it down in my journal So I wouldn't forget and I wouldn't leave anything out. I need someone to kind of explain to me what is going on Like is this what I think that it is? I'm gonna just stop rambling and get into it. Okay, hold on It's just to, to get me through <laughs> I believe I astro projected this morning. Up until today, I had no idea what astro projecting was even a, like, I did not know what that was. Like I never heard of the word. Um, I did not know what the hell was happening, but just listen to the story. I'm gonna start back to like my earliest remembrance of anything. Like I'm gonna get into everything. So just bear with me. Like if you wanna grab a drink, if you're into like this spiritual universe, sit down and listen to what I'm about to say. Ah! Okay, so my earliest remembrance of my sleep paralysis, I do this because I now know this is not what that is. So it was, it was probably like three, four years ago when I first moved to Vegas. So like three years ago or whatever, um, I had my first occurrence of what I believed was sleep paralysis. I never told you know, like you guys a story or anything, but just a quick recap. At night I was asleep and I just remember having this dream and I started to forget in the dream and then I was like, oh, I'm dreaming? Wait a minute. Like something like my mental said like you're in a dream. So I guess I was like lucid dreaming. In my dream, I wasn't able to like say words. Like I started forgetting how to form a sentence and like speak and then like everything around me just start going dark. And then I hear this loud ass noise. Like it's like a vibrating, ringing noise. Like it's so loud in my head. I just remember trying to move like, oh, let me wake up out of this. Every time I try to move a part of my body, the shit got louder. Like it was like forcing me to just lay down and take it, okay? I've never experienced this and I got super scared because I've heard of sleep paralysis and some people say like they're able to open their eyes and look around and they start seeing stuff and like, mm -mm, I was not trying to hallucinate. So when this happened to me, I was like, oh hell no. Like, like, but I realized that I couldn't open my eyes like it was weird and every time I tried to like move like the ringing would get louder and then I was like okay let me just pray because you know like they correlate sleep paralysis to demons so I was like let me just pray so I started praying and as I'm praying it's like the ringing noise is getting super loud it's trying to shut me up and like it got to a point where like it felt like it was going on for a good 10 minutes I don't know how long this was really happening but when I had gotten out of it, I was so out of touch with reality. I just remember running into the room. This is when I lived with DJ. I like ran into the room that he was in and like I'm asking him like, am I awake? Like, am I dreaming? And he like literally threw me in the cold shower, fully clothed. Like I was freaking out. Like I couldn't grasp onto what was real, what was not. And in my dream, like I didn't know if I was actually dreaming. Like it was weird. So that was the first time that I have ever felt like this ringing sound. It was so real that like my head, I had a really bad headache for like two days. Like it was crazy. Since that day, I just chalked that up to, that's how my sleep paralysis is. Like every time I explain to people like, oh yeah, I have sleep paralysis. I always say, but it's not like how everyone talks about. And like people don't understand what I'm talking about, but like it's weird. So it's like, that was one incident. The second incident I'm gonna talk about just correlated to what I found out today. So when I first moved into this house, me and aunt, probably like the second night, we're sleeping in bed and I'm like having a normal dream, um, lucid dreaming, you're able to like control your dreams. Basically you're aware that you're dreaming. Um, you can make stuff appear, go places, stuff like that. Like you know that you're dreaming. So you can just kind of have fun with your dream, make it into like your own movie. So I'm dreaming and I hear the ringing noise and I'm like, oh, sh here we go, sleep paralysis, but it doesn't last too long. And then I see myself 
laying in bed okay so i'm like having an outer body experience the viewpoint that i'm looking at is up in the corner so i'm like staring down at myself in the bed and i okay before i move forward i believe in god okay like you believe whatever you believe if you believe in god good like i believe in god i just want to throw that out there because i don't want people in the comments like oh my god you need to pray you need to do this you need to do that like you need to believe go into the church like i believe in god i 100 percent know that there is a jesus okay i have felt spirits i have felt and seen stuff i'm not sure if it's like a gift because like other people in my family can feel energies and see stuff like that so go back i was asleep in the bed and i seen myself sleep so outer body experience i'm in my bed sleep and i see but our two little boys like they're not like super young, but one's younger than the other. Like I feel their energy and I feel that it's boys. I can't see them, but I can see like their figure, right? Like they're standing right next to each other. One boy points at my ass. Cause I'm like sleeping with like the cover not on me. One boy points at my ass. I'm like basically telling the little boy to like, yeah, touch it. So the other boy smacks it and I wake up instantly. And I like pop up and I like, what the hell like i said out loud i was like uh-uh like y'all need to stop like that's what i said out loud and ak wakes up and he's like what i'm like bro and i tell them the story like somebody just smacked my ass like i'm not lying i seen it happen and then i felt it which was really really weird so that's number two number three is what just happened today and got me on this whole i need to talk to somebody or i need to tell you guys or i just need to explain my story like so probably one of you guys have been through this and um like know more than me like please comment down below and let me know today i woke up this morning i was going to work so i normally like wake up when he's leaving and then i'll stay up for a little bit and go to sleep. so i'm like okay i'm gonna go back to sleep i fall asleep instantly i realized the whole thing occurred within like a good 30 minutes okay i fall back asleep i'm you know regular sleeping doing my regular little thing dreaming controlling the dreams doing my little thing <laughs> What starts happening, which I've noticed recently, how I said like when I start falling into sleep paralysis, well, I would say I fall into it because like everything in my dream starts getting dark. Like I said, I forget how to talk and I just fall into like this state of darkness and I can't move and it's a loud ringing noise. But recently, in the last couple of times it happened, like three, four times, it's just the ringing noise, but I'm still having my dream. But it's a ringing noise and I wake myself up because that ringing noise makes my head hurt. Like it's so loud. Every time I heard it, I was like, okay, like I need to wake up. So I will force myself to wake up. My dream is still the same. Like I'm not forgetting anymore. I'm not like slurring my words or anything. So today i'm dreaming i'm doing all that and then i realize that my ringing starts happening i'm gonna just tell a story then i'm gonna go back to like pinpoint what i think it is okay the ringing starts happening i'm like oh my god here we go so i try to wake myself up like mentally i'd be trying to tell myself like okay wake up wake up wake up and then i try to move my body super fast so i can just like wake up but it doesn't work this time i'm like having a dream da, da, da. i'm like, like popping into different scenarios in my dream so just envision like a movie right and you know how you go to each scene is like different that's what was happening so like i one scene will like play out a little bit and i'll flip to a different one flip to a different one flip to a different one i was popping to like different dreams so fast i don't i think i caused it to happen because i was trying to wake up so much and as i'm popping through dreams and my head is like ringing in my mind i think i'm moving my body to like wake up to like you know because they say when you have sleep paralysis you want to wiggle your fingers and move your toes to slowly wake up your body read that somewhere um so that's what i would do i was like wiggling my hands wiggling my toes and i'm just trying to like physically like uh-uh like pop out like the sleep right so i think i was doing that so much that i caused this astral projecting to happen okay so i'm like trying to move so much out of it the ringing is still in my ear um i get to this part of my dream i am driving down the street and then i have a sense that someone's following me so i hit a right real fast right but i'm driving my dad's truck like the car that i learned how to drive was a nissan titan like the four-door like bed truck so i'm like driving this car i hit a right and all of a sudden i'm coming down the street of my grandma's like 
neighborhood, right? My aunt lives at like a four-way type of thing in her neighborhood. So I'm driving and I'm coming up to her house and I literally see my dad, but like teenage version of him, run out of my Nana's house and across the street getting into someone's car. We lock eyes instantly and I'm like, okay, what's up, dude? Like now I know I'm for real dreaming because like my dad's here, like what's up? But like it didn't click to me that I was seeing him as a young man. So I pull up to the side of my Nana's house and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try to calm down and when I wake up, I wake up. See, my dad gave me a sign to like relax. And there, the ringing stops. I thought I woke up, okay? So I like pop up and I realize I'm in my room, in my bed, and I realize that it's dark in the room. I told myself like, oh my God, you're still dreaming because it's dark outside and I knew I went to sleep in the daytime. So I was like, oh my God, you're still dreaming, bro. This point, I'm like sitting up and I stand up, but I'm like super close to the ceiling. Like, I don't know how to explain or I didn't know why, but I was like super close to the ceiling. And I just remember like, okay, I need to go think about how I'm, I'm gonna wake up. So I fly. <laughs> like, I know this is gonna sound so crazy and I know you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but please listen to me. Like, I am not making this shit up. Like, this really happened to me. And this whole time I'm thinking it's still a dream, right? But let me tell you how I knew this shit was real. So, I'm like close to the ceiling. <laughs> And I come in, it's my house, this is my house, right? This is my room behind this wall. I come from out of the room into the kitchen and I stand right here, but I move so fast and I'm so high to the ceiling. I'm like, am I flying? <laughs> so I like come in here and I'm like, it's so weird because it was so, it felt so real. I'm in here and I'm like, all right, bro, like, this is what we're gonna do. You need to wake up. Like, this has been going on too long. I normally would have woken up by now. I don't know what's wrong. Like, you just need to wake up. So I float back into my room and I see myself sitting on the edge of my bed and I like look at the doorway like where I came into and I look and it's me like it's me but I know that it's not me because like I literally had on the same pajamas I had on this morning but I had on a bonnet and I knew I didn't go to sleep in a bonnet so I was really confused but something in my soul like <laughs> told me go inside of the body like <laughs> listen I just knew I needed to go into the body. And I was like, hell no, I ain't going into the body. What? Because that's not me. I'm not going into the body. What? But I felt like that was the only way for me to wake up. So listen, my ass go into the body. <laughs> Y'all don't even understand. I went into that body. And this is where the whole conclusion of this video came from. I go into the body and everything is white. Like when I popped in, everything was white. Whole floor is white, right? And I really didn't see like I had legs or anything. Like it wasn't like, like I was just looking at something. Like I didn't see a body when I looked down now that I think about it. So I popped into the body, right? Like I flew into it. And I look in front of me and it's a diamond. Like imagine my earrings sitting on the floor, but it's just a diamond. Something in my body told me to go into the diamond. So I'm like, okay, like I guess this is just what I I have to do go into the diamond like <laughs> I don't know like the diamond was little as hell in front of me and something was like go into the diamond so I'm flying through the like I go into the diamond and I'm flying you guys and at that moment literally my soul was like this is not a dream this felt so real like I'm literally getting chills can y'all see that I'm literally getting chills because it felt too real like it was so real Th let me just finish talking so i'm like flying fast as hell through the diamond and it's th like i don't know how to explain it or demonstrate um what i seen but it was just like i was going through this diamond and it was like rings that were just getting bigger and bigger and i was like flying through the rings and the rings are like when i go through it like glows type of thing right so i'm seeing each ring that's how i know like the diamond's getting bigger and bigger as i'm like flying through it but it's the most prettiest thing I've ever experienced or seen in my life. At one point in time, I remember just like looking around real fast and was like, holy, sh like this is so 
beautiful but then i got scared instantly like what is going on like this like i'm not dreaming no more where am i going like what is going on the only way i can explain it is like do you remember those little toys like if you're in my age range where you put it up to your eye and it's like you look around and it's just like crystallized so everything looks so crazy and cool in the room that's how this diamond was that i was floating through i wasn't really floating i was flying flying through this diamond for it feels like a good like six seven seconds right and then it goes like black instantly and then I my body me me on my bed I distinctively hear in my ear footsteps like running towards me it was like like real fast and my floor is carpet so I don't know how I heard it but I heard footsteps and then I just pop up because like when I heard it I was like oh hell no like ain't no spirits gonna get me but I think it was my soul like I think it was me running back into my body like I'm not even Freaking lying, like that shit was so crazy. <laughs> but like I sound crazy telling you guys this. And I don't even think I wanna upload this video. Like I'm gonna watch it back and see, but like, am I crazy? Like, I don't think I'm going crazy. <laughs> I don't think I'm going crazy and I wholeheartedly, like 100%, I would die for this. Like that shit was real. Like it was so real and can nobody ever tell me otherwise. Like, although like if you don't believe me, that is completely fine. But like, there's no way in hell you can tell me that it's only us here. Hell no, there's not only us. And it's like not only our universe, our dimension. Like I'm a very spiritual person. I don't put it out there on the internet, but I know all about that stuff, okay? I'm saying that, also saying I've never heard of this. So am I very spiritual? Probably not, but I'm aware of a lot of things. I know in my soul that when I went into that body, it flew down that diamond thing that I was like coming through something. And I heard, like I lived, it was this ear too because I was laying on this side of my body. That's how I fell asleep and that's how it popped up. I was on this side like this. <laughs> I was on this side like this and I hear in this ear like, it was like that fast, like. And when I heard it, I guess mentally I was like, oh hell no. Ain't nobody finna get this vessel, okay? So yes my soul like ran back into my body i don't know but i like popped up and when i okay when i popped up normally like i will wake up out of my whole sleep paralysis scenario and i would be very drained like super drained i would low-key have a panic attack because sometimes it would kind of be hard for me to differentiate if i was in a dream or what was reality you know so sometimes i'll wake up and have a panic attack but i will feel myself starting to have a panic attack so i would calm down go in the bathroom splash water on my face like you good like this happens to you good i know what it is but this time I popped up and my head started hurting a little bit because of like the sound that I was going through in my dream. My head, it okay, it sound, it's, it's gonna sound so fucking weird, but this is the only way I can describe it. It felt so hollow. Like my head felt so hollow. I didn't have a thought in my mind. Like when I popped up, I didn't have a thought in my mind, but I heard myself, my voice say astro projecting. Like that's the only thing that came to my mind. Like literally I popped up and I look around, my head feels hollow so I'm like, what is going on? And then I just hear astro projecting. And like, I'm like, what the hell is that? So the first thing I do is I grab my phone. And I go on Google, but I go on my private tab because I, I don't want my FBI agent to see that I'm a, I know some bad. I go on my private tab and I type in astro projecting. Stuff comes up. I'm sitting on my bed like this, like this with my phone in my hand, sitting on my bed, scrolling through my phone. And I'm just seeing like a whole bunch of BS articles or whatever, right? Scroll past one that has this spirit looking thing sitting like this in the bed, right? And it grabs my attention. So I click on it, I'm scrolling through it, and I'm seeing, I'm reading like different stuff that's happening in my dreams. And I'm like, holy sh like, okay, all right. So then I'm just scrolling, scrolling, I'm like, okay, that's happened to me, that happened, this happened, that happened, that just happened, like, oh my God. So then the next thing that I do is go on TikTok and I type it in and I see this girl's, let me see, what did I say? Hold on, let me go to my story. Google Astro Projectman is all this other weird sh coming up and then this, I'm laying like this in my bed. I told y'all I'm not lying. This was at nine this morning when I had woken up out of everything. Just went through, like at first I seen difference between lucid dreaming and astral projecting. That was on TikTok. Like stages or whatever, there was this girl uh -huh. video and she was just saying like, Listen. oh, step one of lucid dreaming, you can do this, this, and this. Step two is this, this, and this. And then she got to the astral projecting part and she was like, 
if you do this, this, and this, like your astral yes, journey, and then if you jump from dream to dream, dream mm -hmm. then your astral or some shit yeah. like that. And I don't I know what she was talking about. This dude's video, it's like mm -hmm. this black man um, saying that he at first learned to lucid dream on his own, and My then he baby. started learning how to astral project, and you can go into like different realms and all this thing. other shit, right? But it just got me so like I, look crazy. I don't know, like I feel. <laughs> different right now like i feel different um i laid in bed and did all this for good like 10 minutes before i decided to do this oh but listen 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 so after that I'm sitting in, no, before I came out here, because I came out here to record, but I'm in my bed recording at first, and I sit up, like, out, like, while I'm recording, and something just told me, like, maybe you're not in the right, like, dimension, because, you know how I told you, I see myself sitting on the bed, but I knew that wasn't me, and I still went into the body, I was like, oh my god, like, I don't know if I'm in the right house, so I opened my door, and I walk out, and I felt like I was so scared, you guys. <laughs> I was so scared to come out here because I didn't want it to just be a black hole or something like I was just, I was so freaking scared like I've never like this has never happened to me oh my god okay let me finish hearing what I said because I kind of forgot when I was flying down that damn diamond I was going so fucking fast I was going so fast and that shit was so scary because I'm like why the fuck am I flying down the diamond like when I dream I'm aware yeah and that's why I'm like what the fuck thinking about dude like why are you flying down the diamond yeah i could i had no control over that run into your own fucking body now i'm flying <laughs> down this diamond the shit is so blue like it was just like oh, aqua yeah. blue and that's my favorite color and i just was like oh my god it's so pretty like i looked around like it was just so pretty and then like the shit was just going like this it was going look, so, like it was going look so fast. <laughs> it was going so fast but yeah this whole morning i've been going through like whole bunch of TikToks of just astral projecting, like difference between lucid dream and astral projecting and stuff like that. But I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys my story and like, you know, have a conversation in the comments because like if this has happened to you or you astral project and you know how to do it and this, this and that, then like, um, I don't know if I would want to do this again, kind of a little bit. But now that I know I'm not having sleep paralysis, like I knew in my soul because it be out there. It was trying to tell me like you are not having sleep paralysis. Oh, I wish I could find it. But I watched this girl's Insta, I mean TikTok, and she was saying this video is probably so long. I apologize, but y'all gonna have to hear me talk today. So this girl was saying, um, she was saying how before when she knows she's in the right vibration to astral project. She gets this vibrating, ringing noise in her ear. And then she knows like, okay, like I can get out of my body now. And I'm like, that's what I've been hearing this whole time for like the past four years. Oh my God, oh my God. And I think it actually happened today because I was, y'all, in my dream, like for a good like 10 minutes, I felt myself fighting to get out of it. I don't know if it was actually 10 minutes, but it felt like 10 minutes to me. And it got to a point where I was so tired of trying to wake myself up. I was like, you know what? F this. Like you just gonna lay here and go through this dream. Whatever's gonna happen to you is just gonna happen. I've literally been talking so much that my camera keeps dying. I don't know if it keeps dying or if my um, SD card is getting too full. It's just like hearing everyone else's story and like, now realizing that this is what's been going on this whole time is so crazy and it's just so crazy to think about like i i can tell y'all a whole nother story i actually wanted to do a story time and i might just make it into like a mukbang or whatever of this time or like okay <laughs> where my lucid dreaming started like i wasn't always able to realize that i'm dreaming until i had this one dream you guys and in this dream i literally died like you don't have me I don't care what nobody says but I think I was in the part of the in-between before like my bot my soul was like okay yeah I'm really dying like I don't know what was going on I will tell you guys a story because it is actually a long story and it's so crazy because where was I? I think I was like listening to the radio or something oh no I think it was on TikTok but um I'm sitting there and I'm scrolling through TikTok and I would say like a year later after this happened, right? And I hadn't told anyone this story, but I don't think I had told anyone the story of me dying like in my sleep, but I literally died. And ever since that day, that's when I was able to lucid dream, I guess. Like that night, and that's what got me on my whole like 
spiritual kind of journey is that night when I literally died. And I know that I died because I was watching this TikTok and this girl, her experience was literally exactly like mine and she flatlined for like three, two, three minutes. So please explain to me how basically a girl with no pulse literally had the same experience as me. Anyways, I will tell y'all that story if you wanna hear it because it was really crazy. And like what I seen was like, wild but yeah that's my experience um that happened to me this morning um i hope you guys enjoyed the video like i said in the comment section i don't want to hear nothing about you need to go find jesus all this this and that because i do believe in god jesus christ himself like i believe there is a god and i believe in god i believe in heaven i believe in hell i believe in all of that like i wouldn't consider myself the most godliest christianest person but like you know I was raised in a Christian household at the church. Like I literally believe, but like, I also believe like the whole universe aspect, like the spiritual side of everything. It's crazy. Yeah, I wanna hear in the comment section, like if you guys have ever been through anything like this or like if you lucid dream, tell me your experiences, like how do you control it or what do you do or like, you know, um, if you ever astral projected, like how was your experience? What was your first time? If you have similarities to my story, please let me know and tell me, I I'm not crazy. I just need somebody to I just need someone down below to be like, you're not crazy, bro, because this is what happened. This is this, this, and that. Like, oh my God, I just need someone to understand. That's what happened. <laughs> um, hope you guys enjoyed the story. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below, please. Let's have a conversation down below, please, please, please. Like, I'm gonna be reading everything. Let me know if this is like good or bad, if you know anything about this, because like, it, I'm kind of a little bit scared to go to sleep, honestly. Let